Hope you're having a great week. Jordan Trask here, and I am on day 16 of the 25 days of Christmas, but I'm gonna take it back a little bit because I missed yesterday for the first time. I was a little bit bummed, but my internet went out. Thanks, Comcast Business. So, I thought it would be cool or uh, make sense to do a strategy or holiday commercial for a cable internet company, phone line company, because you know, at the end of the day, how many of us wouldn't be completely intrigued by seeing a commercial when our favorite movies playing during the holiday season about a new internet company that does what they say, that is on time for the installation, that their rates are what they promote, and that the speeds are consistent. You know, when, when, you're, when you think about internet companies these days, I mean, I think each of us get frustrated by it. And when, when you really assess the experience itself is a lot of, a lot of times we spend um, a lot of time on the phone talking about our bill trying to get things fixed and these companies know these monopolies know that uh, you know if it's just five or ten or twenty dollars that in most cases you're gonna give up or hang up or just call it quits or say whatever take my money and that's how they they make a lot of money and so I think most consumers could would be able to relate or uh, the idea of a clean internet company coming out during the holidays would be like Man, dream Christmas, right? I think everybody would get that gift for their for their uh, loved ones and stuff just to eliminate that pain. But as far as presenting that, how do you present something like that? You know, you're just going to do all this off the cuff. I don't want to be cheesy. I don't want to just say, hey, I missed yesterday. I'm going to just make something up real quick and haha, everybody can relate to it. And in the end, and, and I satisfied my campaign, right? No, I want to really dive into this. And I think most people, when it comes to having internet, um, they need it for a couple things, right? They either need it for watch TV or streaming uh, or just browse the internet. You need it for work. Maybe you need it for research. You need it for school. Um, entertainment, let's see, uh, navigation, I would say signal, I would say location, maps. Sometimes, you know, you go and uh, people don't have good service in their house, right? I think that would be something that would be really... Uh, relevant or something that would resonate with a lot of people because I've talked to a lot of people that they complain about not having signal in their homes and it's always strange because you have friends over and those people tend to have signal and you could have the same carrier and it's just like really bizarre how come I don't have signals because I live here is because the signals just hear too much it's bouncing off the walls it doesn't know where to go I don't know it's weird so maybe that's 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 a way that we could tie in the commercial where instead of just saying Hey, you know, we're an internet company or cable company or cell phone company. They're all the same, right? Um, they all do the same types of things that, you know, has a set price that you could actually do auto pay and it's not going to be $15 more than you thought or taxes aren't going to jump up at. This is what it is, really straightforward. And even if it was more expensive, I think most of us would pay for that just to not have to spend the time on the phone, right? Um, and, uh, and instead of just telling people that, talking at them and saying, this is what we're going to do and this is what we're promising and this is what you want, this is what we're going to deliver and maybe some animation or some talking head, like I think that would be lame. So you want to try to tie in the experience. You want to try to showcase what people actually go through so that remember that not only that you're just making that sales pitch, but you're creating that memory and you're eliciting that trust. Uh, like I just made a post earlier that... Um, you know, everything that you do should focus on eliciting trust, it should be building trust, it should be sustaining that trust, it should be uh, establishing some sort of credibility, right? Because as soon as people doubt you or find somebody else that follows through, you know, you're pretty much toast. And so when it comes to, you know, internet cable companies and stuff like that, uh, you know, be able to uh, showcase types, different types of people that are running into problems or brick walls, right? Of being on the phone and showing all these different types of frustrations and you may not even you it could be a silent commercial I think just like a lot of the other ideas that I've had in this series and it'll it'll strike a chord right um, that people will understand what's going on because they experience it themselves and I think uh, you know the main reason I wanted to bring up an example like this is because when you really look into the experience and you really try to figure out how do I not only identify a problem but communicate that problem uh, so that people understand it in, in in multiple different ways but get people to trust me and, and understand it I'm not just another scumbag trying to make money um, that that that's a process that 
every single company should always go down. And I understand why businesses don't do that. And, you know, it's about profiting and it's about the hustle, right? And, and the best strategy and, you know, uh, doing whatever you can to make money. But at the end of the day, that's not fulfilling, not only for the business owner, because you're constantly feeling as though you're having to force, you know, your people to pay or you're stealing maybe money that people don't really agree with or your tar- the experience is really bad. Um, it's not fulfilling, right? There's no way that could be fulfilling. And you can bury it and you can pretend that money makes you happy and all these things or success and fame or hide behind uh, certain promotions to act as if you're some good company or you're giving money back. But at the end of the day, take care of your customers, you know? Uh, no matter what service you offer, no matter what product you're selling, uh, if you're going to do a, a holiday commercial, then focus on those things that all consumers really value. You know, I, I may really want a super tasty ice cream, right? I may want a tire that doesn't blow that's really strong. I may want a cheap tire. I may want, you know, some Mexican food. I may want a new t-shirt that's 100% cotton. At the end of the day, if, if I look for that and I buy that and it's not what I want, or it's some part of the experience or quality of that product is a little bit off. That you people, business owners, CEOs, uh, marketers, CMOs, all these all these types of titles need to understand you're tarnishing the image. Any little uh, sliver of a reason that a consumer has to not spend money with you, it's costing you money. And I'm I'm not really a dollars and cents guy. Uh, to make sense of things. I don't like to do that type of stuff, but s- some people, some of my clients are fueled by that. You want to make money. That's why you market and stuff. But if you're not able to see the long game and you're not able to provide an ample experience that people value and cherish and recommend, right? It doesn't matter how good your marketing is because eventually it's going to come crashing down. And I know, like I mentioned before that, you know, the internet companies and stuff, it's kind of monopolized. So, you know, who's going to compete against them? Who's going to step up and and step in for somebody like me who didn't have internet yesterday and, and take my business. You know, in this little pocket that I live, in my office and stuff, is there's not a lot of options anyway. So they know that. You know, these companies know that. And I just wish uh, that they would understand what it does, what it does to people. Um, and you can't, you can't just buy out Cox or Xfinity or uh, CenturyLink. You can't just Warner a time warner and all these, you can't just keep changing names and expect consumers to forget because in, in most cases, when you really think of internet companies now, they're all the same, right? And that's why coming up with a commercial or a product or brand like this would be so powerful or even cell phone because when you think about it, how many of us go back and forth between different carriers or different uh, companies just tr- not, you know, just trying to get good service, right? Just trying to get what we pay for. It's not that we're trying to take advantage of people or anything, but then what ends up happening in society, I'm kind of rambling now, but uh, you know, then, then consumers start to be tainted a little bit and they start to do shady things or, or uh, you know, utilize different methods to take advantage of companies or get back at demand, right? And um, uh, you know, maybe punish another company for an experience that they had with another one or make a supposition that is inaccurate or, uh, you know, you know, I think what a lot of people do is, is they, they kind of wait for something to go wrong. They look for something to go wrong. Right. And all these things, it just, it's, it's not just the customer experience. It ruins so many different things in, in the market, uh, hot markets, cold markets in general, uh, that consumers carry with them, you know? So just think about that. You let the internet companies fuel you. You know, if that's something that most of you probably deal with, then think about it. How am I doing that, right? How do I do that at pre-focus? How do I maybe offend somebody or not explain something better? How do I, am, am I ever talking at somebody uh, instead of ex- teaching them, right? Or explaining what I'm doing uh, and assuming that they're just going to listen or assuming that they understand what I'm saying and all those things. And then being frustrated when, if do I get frustrated when they don't understand it or they don't see the value or they challenge something? Are you getting defensive when your customers question things or, uh, or, or if, you know, they walk into the experience and they assume something might be bad and then maybe they are kind of disrespectful. Do you take, uh, are you, do you take offense at that? Why do you take offense at that? Deliver for them, you know, do what you can to, to, uh, emulate quality because 
that's how you elicit trust. That's how you get people to understand that you're in it for them. You're not just in it for you. And during the holidays, I think in a time of giving, I think, you know, that's a, a, an amazing message to send. And just think if, if Comcast or, you know, it's my company, if they did a holiday commercial and they said they made an announcement that that's something that they were going to pivot to, you know, no matter, you know, uh, whether our customers get something free or they get an extra advantage or maybe it costs us a little bit of money that they're able to sit there and say in their big, you know, luxury chair that we're going to take that loss and we care about our consumers and we're going to be consistent and we're a multi-billion dollar company. We don't need the $30, but you do as the consumer. Just imagine how many people that they would get in and if they rolled something out that was consistent, right? Merry Christmas. <laughs> and I think, you know, at any other point of the year, it wouldn't be as effective as it would during the holidays. This is our gift to you. Before the New Year's, we want to kick off 2020. We're going to do things new and we've been listening and we're sorry, and we're we're uh, owning this and realizing that we've uh, had an opportunity to do this for a long time, but realize that other companies don't do it, and why should we, and why don't we just make the most money, invest, invest, and keep pivoting the company and growing different departments and areas that we can make money, or opportuni opportunistic channels, instead of listening to customers, because all you want to do is just do your homework at night. All you want to do is just be able to log in to your email and get some work done. All you want to do is just watch TV, watch a holiday movie with your kids. And you can do that in peace without being on the phone and enjoying a company for the remainder of the holiday season or every holiday season, right? That would be such a powerful commercial and it could be so simple. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys. And always remember to pre-focus.